Do 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 do. What? Hello there, stranger. How you doing this fine afternoon? You know, the same usual. Just going back from fishing. Ooh, fishing. Tell me more. It's nothing interesting. We all fish the same way. Yeah, that might be true, but I bet I'm faster at fishing than you. So how about that a race to the beach to Mako Island? Hey, wait up. No fair. You got a head start. You know what they say. You snooze, you lose. See you at Mako Island, loser. I knew it. I'm faster at swimming than you. Hey, what are those two boats doing here? Oh, come on. I know you're just trying to change the topic because I won. No, seriously. What are those two boats doing here? I don't really know, but we better check the moon pool to make sure it, it's safe because that's the best part of Mako Island that no one, no human, should be in. How about a race to the top to see who's better on legs? You're on! Meet you at the top of the volcano! Not so fast, we both have to start at the same time so we b Hey, wait up! Sorry cousin, but you're really boring when you talk about wool. And anyway, isn't it just better to start the race? See you at the top anyways! Ooh, that's a pretty pool right there. Hmm, it's almost getting dark. Hey, Jack, I got a better idea. How about once we get up to the top, we wait until the moon is over the moon pool, and then we jump in at that exact time. Yeah, sure, why not? Anything to make me not look like a loser while you're running faster than me, even though my mom was originally a human. So I should be better at my legs. Well, you are better at your legs, but, like, anyone can be better at their legs or tail. This just takes practice. Look, the moon's almost here. Uh, the moon is here. That means it's time to jump! Ah! ah. Whoa. That was a real close one. It, of course it was. It's dangerous to jump off the top of a volcano like that. Ooh, you know what I'm thinking of? Sushi? Talk about sushi. I could really go for some sushi right now. No, Rita's house. Our parents had a lot of adventures at Rita's house. Yeah, they did have a lot of adventures there. Too bad we couldn't go there since Crystal isn't taking care of Rita's house like she is supposed to. Wait, how do you know that Crystal isn't taking care of Rita's house? I, um, I... Aha! You've been discovered. You've been sneaking into Rita's house to do whatever you do. Okay, yes, I sneak into Rita's house through the underwater tunnel. I don't use regularly the normal human place, but I do love the secret hiding spot there. It's just magnificent. Well, I'll keep your secret, cousin. Oh, thank you so much, Jack. In exchange, you better tell me where Rita's house is. At least the underwater tunnel. Hold up. You mean... You will keep your cousin secret just for a secret. That's correct, actually. Well, there's no harm done in telling you, so I guess you're going to Rita's house. Ooh, great. Tell me where it is right now. No, 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 no. We'll go in the morning, because it's really dark here, and we might ran into a shark. So let's go in the morning when we get breakfast, and then I'll show you where Rita's house is, okay? Okay. Isn't it just a beautiful morning? A beautiful morning for me to tell my cousin, Jack, where Rita's house underwater tunnel is. Now, where is Jack? Oh, there he is. 
Good morning, Jack. How you doing? I'm good. Just, you know, waiting for you to tell me where Rita's house is. Is that all you worry about? If I tell you where Rita's house is? Come on, cousin. Isn't there somewhere else you want to, I don't know, look out or explore? And if I show you Rita's house, I'll have to tell you something that I discovered. Something really important. Well, I can't wait to find out, because if it's that important and ancient, I'm in, because discovering stuff is awesome. Yeah, it's going to be super awesome. Well, we got to get on our legs, then I'll need to show you something cool, and then we'll have to go back in the water. So how about I show you what's in the water first, and then we go to Rita's house. I know, you're just trying to make me not want to go to Rita's house, but come on, it's not that bad, is it? No, it's not that bad, it's just that Rita's house was my special place, and I guess it is going to be our special place. Okay, follow me over here. Um, Jack, did you get lost again? Where are you? Right behind you, just was looking at a special rock. It's okay, uh, just come into this one, and here it is, um, Rita's house underwater entrance. Wow, this place is awesome, it's orange. Excuse me, my tail is orange, you never said it, you liked it. Come on, just get dry and let me show you the rest of the house. Coming, coming, just... Trying to remember how we got here in the first place. Are you serious? Hey, change your tail before you go upstairs. Never mind. Whoa. Now this is another part of awesome and cool. I can't disagree with that. Anyway, um, let me show you what I found. It's going to be so awesome and so ancient and so awesome to go in and discover. You're going to want to go back in the water and come back here and learn more stuff. Yeah, learning school stuff. Well, this book talks about ancient mermaid history. It's supposed to be talking about, like, um mermaid war and it's like literally recently new hey where are you going um i don't see really the action part of this okay um so there is this supposedly mermaid queen like something statue and i'll show you it after i show you around the house because we shouldn't get into underwater surprisingly things um just yet I thought you didn't want to get involved with uh, the other human disguise part of the house. No, well, maybe you would like the human part of the house, and I can have my secret library bookshelf secret thing for myself. Hey, at least if I get this TV and sofa, I'll gladly stay in the normal side. I'll show you upstairs. Maybe you're not comfortable with swimming in the pool in the secret hideout place. This is the bathroom. Excuse me. This is busy. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, and I guess you already know the bedroom. You'll probably like it in the bedroom. This house is pretty nice. I know, right? Let's get back to the secret place so I can show you... How did you get on top of me? So I can show you the statue that might be still at Mako Island. I heard that there was like 49 statues that were cleared, but there was actually originally 50 statues. So only one is left at Mako Island where the war happened. And why do you want to get involved with war stuff? Because it's going to be an awesome mermaid discovery. Come on. Right behind you, Laura. Okay, according to my research, the Mermaid War statue should be around here somewhere. And stay a lookout and try to find out what it looks like exactly. Because it didn't really say what the statues are supposed to represent. Just that statues were broken in the war. Hey, I think I found one right up ahead. You're right. This is part of the statue. Yeah, and I said part because 
Where's the other half of her? It's like a person with wings and hoarding. Is that like a staff or statue? I don't know. It looks a little bit like the Statue of Liberty, but the Statue of Liberty doesn't have wings. Weird. I wonder if the other part of the statue might be at Mako Island. And you know what that means? Going back on the island with legs. Oh, come on. All this changing and going back, swimming, and legs is making me tired. Didn't I tell you to take a good sleep last night? And if you didn't, what were you doing? I was, uh, um, I was looking for Rita's underwater cave without you. You were what? You know I told you not to go looking for it at night. And I didn't find anything, so, uh, lesson learned. Not to point here, but you were lucky to survive a shark. You're a worry pants for nothing. Whatever. Wait, why aren't we changing back? We should be changing back by now. I'm all dried and heated up. Do you think it's the statue? I'm not sure, but if it is a statue, it's somewhere close by. And we better get far away from it if we want to turn back into legs so we can climb better. What if the statue isn't really on Mako Island, but across the bridge from Mako Island? What do you think? I think you're getting theories, which is good. We're making progress here. What if we just gotta get wet again and then uh, go to drying yourself up? Whatever is not making us dry ourselves quick, we have to do it fast. We don't want to catch nightfall in the middle of a discovery. Here's another theory. How about we just climb with our tails? It'll be faster. Hmm, who knows? Jack, are you seeing what I'm seeing? If it's a statue missing a head, then yeah. Okay, that's partly what we're looking at, but... This is an awesome discovery, but how did it land at the second mountain of Mako? I don't know, but it really is rusty, so it must have been here for a long time. Ooh, idea. What if what happened here, the... You know how mermans were supposed to be already on land? What if the mermans um, left the statue there because someone was supposed to find it and move it and hide it. What if it's a secret power store? You're getting ideas that are really creeping me out. Yeah, but think about it. Um, how did that statue literally happen to be at the second mountain of Mako? What if the island risen above? Yeah, sure it did. Thank you all for watching very, very much. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe because we really need the support. And don't forget to like if you liked this video. And comment down below if you think what Laura is saying is true.